Hi guys, um, I'm going to be recording a league with uh, Fairy Tribe. Uh, this is a um, this is a deck I first saw um, Bilster 47 um, do a bunch of 5-0s with. Uh, it's been quite strong for me, um, and so and I'm not going to be I'm going to be traveling over the holidays, so I won't be able to play in any of the challenges. So I figured I'd just do a um, I just play a league, and I hope this goes well. So this is hand is. Um, uh, you know, like, one, one tricky thing about Fairy Tribe is that it kind of frequently has two paths that can go down, kind of like the, the Fairy Path or the Tribe Path. Um, you frequently just kind of have to let your hand decide what path to go down. Um, in this case, it's pretty clearly... Oh. Okay, this might not be a great matchup. But in this case, it's pretty clearly uh, the play would be to try to get a ninja down. And then... Uh, so Riddick wins is a very interesting matchup. Um, I only played it once and I beat it, but I'm not entirely sure how good the match was supposed to be. But here, um, I think we just want to get this ninja in play as soon as possible. We can maybe block with it next turn or force the opponent to use a removal spell, but I think just getting it on the board is going to be better for us. Okay, two miscreants, that's good. I might look to trade with those. Okay, mock conscripts. So I think this is probably a game in which I'm going to have to kind of play a little bit of defense and then probably try to try them out pretty soon. Ooh, that's not a bad draw. So let me just play... Uh, this probably doesn't change my play a whole lot, but let me just start with two Fairy Miscreants. I think, I mean, even if I draw a Bong Wild, it probably... I might play Bong Wild, but... Okay, well, I did draw a Vulcan Wilds. Uh, am I going to do anything this turn? You know, I, I think I probably actually will never play. I guess given that I'm not going to play that, I probably should have pondered first. Yeah, this deck is hard to play. <laughs> um, hmm. Are these cards good enough to keep? So, just more, just more card draw. So I think it's probably getting to the point, like, okay, so, all right, what do I do? Can I, keep, can I afford to keep this pile, or do I start needing to digging for a tribe? It's close, but this, I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to hold back Ninja to block. That might be a little bit greedy. And in fact, it probably will want to shuffle the Preordain away. Okay, Magma Jet. Does my opponent have a one drop? Given the play I chose, I can't chump. Or I can't trade. I can chump, but... Yeah, I, I can't, I can't block here. I can chump, but um... So in the, my next card is a preordain. I think that might be too slow. Or might be okay. 
Uh, so I'm definitely going to play the Fairy Miscreant this turn. The question is, do I shuffle away the Preordain? Next turn, I'll have I'll have a lot of mana next turn, so I think I will keep it. Okay, and if I Ooh, hit an island, that's good. Ooh, and a spell starter. Okay, so this isn't looking too bad. I will trade my fairies now. I think I've probably drawn all the cards I can. Uh, yep, Bushwhacker. So, yeah, I think killing one of these guys is better than killing the Jackal Familiar because he might not be able to attack, and I do want to preserve my light total and try to trade off these guys. Okay, all right, so that's pretty good fire blast protection. Um, so I think at this point, maybe I want to try to find a tribe. I don't think I want to gush yet because I want to use my mana. And given that I have Ash Barons in hand, I think I want to start with a Brainstorm. Hmm. This might be a rare case where I just play my Ash Barons. because I definitely want to get my auger down. And do I want my spell sitter up? So let's see. I think I do play my auger and I think just having Dispel up is fine. Yeah. And then I can get a white source. I think that's probably good enough. I don't think I need... Um, I don't think I need Spell Starter up this turn. And I'm going to hold that Nunu to block because I think I do have enough card advantage already. Okay, Valley Dasher. Okay, I think I blocked the Valley Dasher because that's the only card that's, that can attack. Um, let me just do this. All right, so. Um, do I play Ash? Do I cycle Ash Barons right now? I think I do. Um, because I might need a mana. Okay, for a moment there, I thought my opponent had a. Might have had both Fire Blasts, which would be bad. Okay, I don't think I want to dispel. Yeah. 
you know what? I think I think I do. I should gush. I'll try to find something. Not quite. All right, not great, but I'm a jet. Uh, I think I probably just counter this. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that probably worked out the way it did. Another inside out. Given that. Um, Given that's my multiple, I think I'll use it instead of cycling the Shadow Rift. Ninja. Okay, that's probably going to be good next turn, but for this turn, I think I just want to hold up Circular Logic here. I probably will end up countering anything. Chain lightning. Sure. I'm just going to counter it right now because I've open mana. Uh, maybe I should worry about a bigger threat, but I think just making sure I spend my mana every turn um, is probably going to be a, a winning line here. So. Do I play Ninja? I think I do, and so... Let me start by doing that. All right, I think I just want to point out that this would be this would have been a match in which would have been I think it'd be really hard for a traditional tribe to win. Uh, well, maybe. I I guess it depends. But like, you know, I'm like 30 cards, more than 30 cards deep without a tribe. You know, like that's those are the type of games in which like you know you you could be it could be really tough to win as as tribe. Here it's okay. That's pretty good. Here, you know, it's it's a bit rough. Because I kind of have the kill in hand, but it's not that it's not as bad because I'm still putting up defense and still drawing cards and interacting with my opponent. Okay, I definitely want gush. And everybody play my land drop this turn, so I'll just say go. Okay, a bunch of land. Uh, I'll just gush here. Since I, did, I think um, I don't really want to. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would miss my land drop, and I'm not. Well, I don't think I really want to keep a land drop with my uh, with my cantrip. So, gushing first gives more information. So, given that I was going to gush to hit my land drop anyways, might as well do it first. All right. 
So, um, spell starter sprite. Uh, do I need a second one? I think I'll probably just shuffle. It's not terrible. But I think I do just want to find a Tireless Tribe and just try to get this game over with. Still no. Tireless Tribe, eh? Alright, there it is. I will play it. And I'll just save this Terramorphic. Um, yep. I'll hold that ninja block. Don't need any more cards. You know, if my opponent doesn't block, I draw a card that, that you know, is useless because I don't need more cards. And my opponent plays um, Goblin Bushwhacker. It might have been good that I saved the ninja. Or held it back on defense. Alright, well, looks like that's going to be the kill. Close game. Alright. Okay, GG's. Alright, that is game one. So, I think against this deck, it's going to be a bit hard to... Uh, it's going to be a bit hard to combo off. And so, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to side out most of the combo. I mean, so something like this is what I would do. Siding out the combo is what I generally like to do against red decks because, you know, the fairy half of the deck is pretty strong against red decks already. Tireless Tribe itself is not bad against, um, well, I think, first of all, these cards are definitely coming in. Uh... Let me just put the maybes up here. I do want to spell. Three miscreants and ninjas are kind of iffy as well. Like these cards are amazing, and then it's kind of a mix of what else I want. Uh, So Tireless Tribes are actually pretty good blockers, so I think I might want a couple of those. I don't think I want Circular Logic because they're a bit slow. I think I can take a few Inside Outs and a few Shadow Rifts. And I think I guess I just keep all my Fairy Miscreants and Ninjas. They're not great, but Ninja can trade and I guess Fairy Miscreant can also trade, potentially in combination with Augurs. So let's try this. I was very lucky that we uh, were on the play that game. Okay. I mean, this is not great, but I... Well, it would be a fine hand against anything but Red Deck wins, but I am facing Red Deck wins, so this is not great. Okay, that's amazing. So given that I drew that, I think I'm just going to play my Terramorphic. Probably fetch... Um, Probably fetch an island, actually. I only have three white cards. And, I mean, they're good, but... Well, I guess they're not really fine. But, I mean, am I going to be spending my white mana? Uh... 
me look at my deck. You know, white mana is probably fine. And in case I draw a Tyler Tribe, it will be very good. So I guess I'll just take my white mana. All right, Spell Surf Sprite is another very good, good draw. Shadow Rift is not great. Yeah, being on the draw is going to be a bit rough. Goblin Bushwhacker. Let's see if he attacks with everything. He probably shouldn't. Because it's just a free block. On his Bushwhacker. Like, I don't know if he knows this, but if he just attacked these two, I probably wouldn't even block because Augur is that important for my plans. Boom, Tireless Tribe. That's very good. Okay, now I'm glad I fetched. So. So the thing about Tyler's Tribe is that it's a great blocker. And you'll probably get to see that this game, actually. And I actually have the combo next turn, so... That's not too bad. Though, you know, I'm not really going for the combo. Like, it's much more important to me that Tyler's Tribe is a... Uh, is a blocker here. So, kind of like to that point, I think I'm going to cycle one of these cards and it's probably going to be. Um, yeah, so this is a move that might surprise you, but I'm going to cycle one of these. I need to decide which one. I think it's probably going to be the one that's more expensive. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Um, I think I continue to just want to hold both of these up. So, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so this... <laughs> I, I, I know this might seem surprising, but I can't go for it within like five turns, I'm pretty sure, with how he's holding up mana. So might as well just cycle them all. You know, I probably won't even combo this, this game. That's fine. This is one of my two inside outs. You know, I, that's, I'm going to win the long game anyways, so... Uh, sure. Yeah, my opponent's not attacking... That's really good for me. Oh yeah, and for Shadow Rifts, like you generally, if you're gonna cycle them, you want to cycle them on your opponent's creatures, because uh... okay, mutation's good. You want to cycle it on your opponent's creatures because uh, that way they they can't you know kill your creature in response. So all right, Hydro Blast is very good. And I think I'm just going to continue to hold up everything. My opponent's board is slowly building up. It's getting a little bit dangerous, so I might... I'll probably end up casting this spontaneous mutation at the end of this turn. Um, I'll end up casting spontaneous mutation this turn to kind of relieve a little bit of uh, pressure. So I'll cast it on a Brawler. So... Alright, so I could gush here, but I think it's a little bit too soon. Alright, ninja. Okay, I will keep ninja. I'm play my ne ponder next turn. Meanwhile, I'll hold up some mana. I'll probably try to play my spell setter at the end of this turn. Or I can keep on waiting. Yes. Yes! <laughs> so glad I put a plate of one drop. Yes, please. 
Okay, so that's very good. <laughs> yep. Definitely wanted my opponent to play a one drop there. My opponent's probably going to try to fight the spell starter. No? Okay. Jackal familiar. Sure. I can kill it. So, the thing about Tyler's tribe is why it's really good is basically I can always, so I'm going to gush and I'm just going to throw a land to kill one of his creatures. Okay, he doesn't let me do that. So I know I have a land on top. I think I'm okay drawing it actually, so I will do that. Let's play this Ponder. Okay, these are all good cards. Uh, I think I'll take the Preordain next after I take the Spontaneous Mutation. Alright. And if I need cards to discard, I'm just going to use... Um, if, I, if I didn't have Gush, I would be saving my islands as discard fodder. But given that I do have Gush, it's fine. I guess at some point I do need to start thinking about the um, Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, that's fine, I think. Chain Lightning. Oh, I just love value. Yeah, give me give me that chain lightning. Now I'll preordain. Maybe I should gush first. Actually, I probably should gush first. Uh, like I, yeah, I probably should. Yeah, I should gush first. All right, that was not great, but it's fine. Um, well, I will take this. Gosh. And probably use this ponder to shuffle. Unless I see a ninja. I could have waited for the Bobbing Wilds, but I think. You know, Bobbing Wilds and then shuffle, but I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably that would have been better. So, yeah, I would play Bobbing Wilds next turn, shuffle. Then play Ponder. That might have been better. Okay, well. In this case, I'm definitely going to keep. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't think I really want to discard because my discards are useful for Tireless Tribe, so I think I'm just going to wait one turn. Like if I put the ninja down right now, I'm just I'm just gonna have to discard anyways. And if I spend two mana, you know I, I have three cards anyways for whatever my opponent wants to do. So all right, Valley Dasher. 
All right, I'm just going to spot haste mutation, his burning tree now. Just get another card out of my hand. All right, so I know I have um, I have a land on top, so I think I'll just shuffle right now. Okay. All right, second spell setter is pretty good. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, if you like this game, I think this is why I like this deck. You know, like Palace Tribe, I, I even had the combo, but I don't think it just it just wasn't going to be good early. So instead of like instead of just forcing it. You know, I could, I could, I don't have to force the combo against a fast deck with disruption. Instead, I can kind of like just value them, value them out. So I'm definitely gonna trade one of my islands instead of my ninja. And I do have plenty of time. Um, I do have one more copy of Shadow Rift and one more copy of Inside Out. At this point, I'm going to save it because I'm so far ahead. I'm just looking for Fairy Miscreants now. In fact, I just want to get a little bit of a clock going. I'm not going to deck because I'm a bunch of miscreants. Uh, Alright, well there's inside out. I guess I don't have to discard this turn, so I might as well play my auger. Okay, my brainstorm. Ooh, there's a hydroblast. Uh, hydroblast has well, no, I don't need Hydroblast. In fact, I think I just need... I literally just need Fairy Miscreants. So. I'll just wait. Goblin Heal Cutter, I'll just counter that, I think. Trade off, yeah, I think this is good. Trade away some of my cards. Now, I probably still don't want to gush, so I, I, next turn, so I probably will just play Brainstorm right now, just as a cycle. Yes, alright, that's what I want. All right, oh, my clock. So, all right, now my opponent's on a clock, and... Yeah, <laughs> this this is how I kind of want to win against Riddick wins. You know, not, not the tribe combo. Though I could have had the option, you know, but it was just... I didn't think that was going to work. It could have, probably, actually, on one of the turns, but... I'll just kind of whatever with a cell starter. Probably I'll save the last one. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I'm going to play Gush because if I do, there's a chance I will have to discard. Which is not a big deal, but. I don't think there's also any reason to do so. I have this game kind of in control. 
So I think also what you saw was that Tyler's tribe not only was sure. What you saw was that Tyler's tribe was not only a good blocker here, it actually made my opponent skip like three turns. Um, which obviously if I was just playing fairies, they wouldn't do that. So you know, kind of like kind of like the good part of Tyler's tribe is kind of like this. And you, you'll notice it when you if you played both if you played Blur and Delver before. But when you have Tyler's Tribe, your opponent just misplays. That's like it's kind of insane. Like if I was playing Blur and Delver, I would you know they would just be pressuring, 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 pressuring. I just gotta pray to hit removal, 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 which is good. I can, I can also probably win that way. But uh, all right, well I'll just counter that with spell setter. I'm gonna probably just gush now. Uh, do I want to save gush to put stuff back in hand for Tyler's Tribe? Uh, probably not. I'm so far ahead. Okay, well, that should about seal it. All right, this is a good good spot. But yeah, so you know, like if you just have Tyler's tribe, it's like you you're just like you're just time walking your opponent all the time. It's it's pretty crazy. That, that I mean, if you're if you if you're like a Tyler's tribe player, you probably get that feeling all the time. But if you're coming from you know the Red Delver, it's a pretty great feeling. I I don't even know why I'm countering that. It doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. I mean. I have a win pretty locked up here. Let's see what he got, what what he has. Okay, you just concede. All right, uh, GGs. So, yeah, that was game one. Hopefully, you kind of saw both sides, or maybe not both sides, but you kind of saw like how, I guess, kind of like the the tribe and the fairies kind of work hand in hand. Um, but yeah, GGs.